Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. So uh, the title of my talk is uh, First Steps of Non-Archimedean Enumerative Geometry. And my motivation comes from mirror symmetry. As you have already heard uh, from Tim's talk uh, two hours ago, mirror symmetry is a conjectural duality between Calabi-Yau manifolds. So roughly, it says that for any Calabi-Yau manifold x, uh, Calabi-Yau uh, manifold x, uh, there exists a mirror Calabi-Yau manifold uh, x check such that there are lots of uh, geometric relations between x and x check. Uh, x and x check related by lots of geometric relations. As you have uh, seen from Tim's talk, uh, there are relations uh, between Hodge numbers, uh, gromov witten invariants for higher categories, and so on. So now a fundamental question is how do we construct uh, this mirror manifold x check? Mm, there are lots of constructions uh, in special cases, but in general, uh, we only have a conjecture, which is uh, so-called SYZ conjecture, in the name of uh, Storming, uh, Yao, and Zaslow. Uh, let me explain you uh, what uh, uh, they say. So first, uh, the conjecture says that uh, uh, with a better uh, for mirror symmetry, one should uh, consider degenerating families of Calabi-Yau manifolds instead of uh, individual Calabi-Yau manifolds. Should uh, study degenerating families of Calabi-Yau's uh, instead of uh, individual ones. That's the first thing they say. And the second, <laughs> next, uh, they conjecture that a degenerating family of Calabi-Yau manifolds let's say xt over a punctured disk parametrized uh, by t looks like the following. For fixed t, uh, xt looks like uh, a torus vibration over some base uh, with possibly singular fiber. And as t goes to 0, the fiber tori, they become smaller and smaller and finally collapse to the base. This. And we call this uh, torus vibration SYZ vibration. So finally, uh, the conjecture suggests us how to build uh, the mirror manifold. They say that the mirror X check should be constructed using uh, the enumerative geometry of the SYZ vibration. So by this, I mean we have uh, an SYZ vibration like this a torus vibration uh, over some base, and we have uh, lots of uh, torus fibers. And we want to uh, do enumerative geometry, which means we want to count uh, curves with boundaries on fibers of this vibration. So for example, we want to count uh, holomorphic disks with boundaries uh, on one tori. And also, we want to count uh, holomorphic cylinders with boundaries on two uh, torus fibers. And more generally, for example, a pair of pants uh, with boundaries 
uh, on three uh, fibers. And all these uh, counting numbers, they are supposed to uh, help us uh, construct uh, the mirror, uh, X check. So that's uh, their idea uh, of uh, the conjecture. And uh, it's a very beautiful heuristic picture, but uh, uh, in practice, it's uh, really difficult uh, to make it work, uh, basically for two reasons. First, so I say two major difficulties. Um, first, uh, the existence of uh, SYZ vibration is not known in general. Second, even if we assume that uh, we already have SYZ vibration, then there is another uh, problem is that when we do the counting, we don't get a well-defined uh, invariance. <laughs> Counting does not produce a well-defined invariance in the sense that uh, they are always dependent on some choices uh, we make during the counting. So, In order to overcome the first uh, difficulty, uh, in 2000, Konsevich and Soberman, they made an uh, observation the following observation. So they observed that uh, this SYZ vibration, as I draw uh, here, looks like uh, resembles very much resembles. Uh, very much something uh, in non-Archimedean geometry uh, called the Bayakovich's retraction. Uh, retraction uh, in non-Archimedean geometry. Uh, the idea is very simple. When we have uh, this family of uh, Calabios XT over the punctured disk uh, We obtain uh, naturally a non Archimedean analytic space, a uh, non Archimedean analytic space uh, X defined over the field of Laurent power series, uh, which is a non Archimedean field. And Bayakovich's retraction is. Uh, a retraction that uh, Bayakovich constructed from X to a piecewise linear, a canonical, let's say, a canonical uh, piecewise linear uh, spe uh, skeleton, canonically embedded in X. And moreover, one can prove that uh, the fibers of this retraction, they are uh, an analog of uh, tori in the non-Archimedean world uh, called, so fibers, they are affinoid tori. And for this reason, uh, we call Bayakovich's retraction for this X uh, the non-Archimedean SYZ vibration. Let's call it uh, no Archimedean SYZ vibration. Um, so this is for the first difficulty, and my goal is to uh, overcome uh, the second difficulty. Uh, namely, I would like to develop a theory of uh, non-Archimedean uh, enumerative geometry uh, for this uh, non-Archimedean SYZ vibration.
for the non-Archimedean uh, SYZ vibration. In other words, uh, we would like to have a theory that would uh, enable us to count this good kind of curves with boundaries, but uh, inside this non-Archimedean space X and with boundaries on these uh, fibers of arpinoid tori. So um, now let me uh, describe you uh, my prog the progresses I made so far and also uh, some ongoing works. Um, so uh, details of uh, the following will be given by uh, the members. So more details um, will be given in my uh, members seminar and also a mini course. And so I make, make an advertisement. Um, so uh, first, for this purpose, I studied uh, the behavior of analytical curves under Bayakovich's retraction. Um, one, can, I showed, one can show that when we have any kind of analytical curves uh, inside X, uh, its image uh, under Bayakovich's retraction is always a, a piecewise linear graph satisfying some uh, special combinatorial properties. And uh, these combinatorial properties, they are called balancing conditions, uh, which are special uh, uh, properties that can be determined by the geometry of x. That's the first thing. And then uh, I developed a theory of uh, moduli stacks of uh, curves uh, living in Bayakovich spaces, and I proved an analog of uh, Gromov's an analog of uh, Gromov's compactness theorem. <coughs> uh, Tim also mentioned during his talk, and then after that. Uh, one can study more carefully uh, this uh, behavior, uh, not just for a single curve, but also for families uh, of curves. And uh, one can obtain uh, some theorem called uh, theorem of uh, continuity and uh, polyhedrality uh, for uh, this procedure in families. So they are uh, very general, uh, uh, just the general results regarding this geometry. And uh, I, uh, there is another general result, which is helpful for this uh, purpose. Uh, I did it with uh, my collaborator, Mauro Porta, and we proved the Gaga theorem uh, for non-Archimedean analytic stacks. So combining these uh, general results, Uh, combining this, um, I managed to uh, construct the desired uh, enumerative invariance uh, in the case of uh, log Calabi-Yau surfaces. Now Archimedean enumerative uh, invariance in the case of uh, log Calabi-Yau surfaces. And uh, now, uh, in an on, uh, ongoing work uh, with Sean Keo, uh, we are applying, so uh, ongoing work will be written uh, in the color red. Um, With Sean Keo, uh, we are working to apply uh, this non-Archimedean uh, non enumerative uh, invariance to the study of mirror symmetry for log Calabi-Yau uh, for log calabi -Yau surfaces. And moreover, I would like to generalize uh, this invariance uh, to the case of higher dimensions.
And for that purpose, I'm also uh, working with uh, uh, Mauro Porta, my collaborator. Uh, to get some uh, theory of uh, derived uh, non-Archimedean geometry for the purpose of uh, virtual fundamental classes. Uh, so that's the general picture of uh, what I'm working on that I would like to explain today. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.